to have a personality with VTubing. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute. This isn't. Wait a minute. Hold on. Are you trying to say that personality and lore are not the same thing? Yes, I am. Because your personality often gets affected by your lore. When you grow up and stuff and, you know, maybe when you were like a little kid or something and you're all starry-eyed with the bright future and everything looks so cool. And then when you become an adult, you end up becoming Squidward because you realize how miserable everything is and how expensive and responsibilities suck. Your history shapes your personality. And to put it in a more metaphorical sense, in anime, there are a lot of characters. Among these are heroes, villains, and other characters who play side roles. Each person in the world has different thoughts, feelings, personalities, and behavior. This allows two types of picking to reflect it. So how do you have a personality for a VTuber? Well, a lot of it kind of depends on your mindset, your values, your morals, and what is it you want to do. Again, remember earlier I had said some people take VTubing as a way to play a character, an extension of themselves, something that they've never been able to do in the real world. So how would this character's personality be? How is like your persona going to react when someone comes in and says a slur on your stream? Holy shit, I wasn't expecting Mari to say that. No, for real though, think about it. How would you, your normal self, react to someone saying a slur on stream versus your character reacting to the slur. This is where the personality comes into play. Is your character going to be, oh, <laughs> you're stupid? Or are you gonna break the fourth wall and show your real self and say, get the fuck out of here and don't say that stuff in my chat? This is how you kind of think about personality. Let's simplify this a little bit more. A lot of people have boring personalities. That is why they watch content creators and other forms of entertainment. Nobody wants to listen to what you had for breakfast. It's That doesn't tell me about your personality. But if you can tell me a story about your breakfast turning into an adventure and how you reacted, how you felt, take me through a journey. That's where your personality can shine. Kayfabe is a great shield for that. Yes, this is where like parts of Kayfabe come in too. That's so true. Yes. So personality and personality traits that you want to have is really important to think about because your personality are is what's going to define you and how people perceive you it's what's going to allow someone who's watching you to either resonate with you agree or disagree with you or maybe your personality reminds them of someone else someone that's important to them some people like to think of, of personality as playing like a certain trope from like a fictional story. Some people view personality as just an over-exaggerated version of themselves. And remember how I said earlier, if you are just yourself and like your kids are your part of your lore because it's yourself and your day-to-day, -day, like whatever, then you need to remember that how you act and what you say is going to be perceived through someone else's filter lens. And what that means is I have a lot of trauma. Okay, that's the video guys. All right, bye. Okay, now think about that for a second. What I just said there, that's a little jarring, right? If you have never heard of like an a cute anime girl suddenly using the word trauma, that's gonna take you a little step back. You might view me a little differently now because I just said that. You're like, wait a minute, Mari's not that soft. She's kind of like rough for saying that. Why would why would she say that? What you, how you pres present yourself and how you talk about things can be perceived in many different ways and you have no control over that. You cannot control how someone else thinks of you. So when you're thinking about your personality for your VTuber model, you have to decide, do I want people to perceive me for who I am behind the avatar? Or do I want people to perceive me for what my avatar is and what the avatar is displaying? Does that make sense? I, I hope this is the first time I've ever like talked about this. So if this doesn't make sense, please feel free to like leave comments and questions and stuff. And I can make shorts and like videos talking about it more. This is something that um I've thought about for a very long time and never really voiced it. So <laughs> it's probably, oh God, I'm fidgeting. Okay, so yeah, it's probably just, you know, this is very new to talk about. And I'm sure like that can be kind of overwhelming. So just take a step back and breathe. Don't stress about your personality. Don't worry if someone is taking you out of context. They're going to. It's part of content creation. It's also part of just the real life. You can't control how others view you and perceive you, but you can control how you react to that. And so when you come up with your personality, if someone's being mean, remember, you have a choice to either react to how you would actually react in real life, or you have a choice to react to how your character would react to it. And that's okay. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just stuff that I want you to think about when you decide to become 
a cartoon on screen because it does add a little bit of nuances to it. I think some people are using VTubing as a new form of being social and getting to play games together, make friends with other VTubers or collabs. Like it's becoming a new age version of multiplayer. Let's um put a pin on that comment. I have a slide about that later on, foreshadowing. 